Hi, I'm Brian Chow. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we'll discuss about e-invoice, how to link your SQL accounting software to your My Invoice Portal account. To do this, you must first fulfill three conditions. First, you have created your company's My Invoice Portal account. Second, you have purchased SQL accounting software and also SQL e-invoice module. And third, your computer is Windows 10 and above and have internet connection. Let's get started. First, log into your SQL accounting software. After log into your SQL accounting software, please go to File, Company Profile, and make sure all the information have been updated, especially for company registration number new, your MSIC code or industrial code, address, and so on. And make sure your country is Malaysia. Then click on My Invoice. You will notice that you need to click save icon then only you can click connect my invoice make sure the team number and bi number already updated and if you do not see the my invoice option over here meaning that you have not purchased sql e invoice module please purchase from your dealer if you do not have maintenance with dealers please contact syntax technologies and sign maintenance with us so that we can sell you the sql e invoice module please remember in e invoice era, you should have an active maintenance with the SQL dealer because e invoice will update very frequently and your SQL accounting software version need to update accordingly. Without that, even you have e invoice module, you may face error and not able to do so. Then click connect my invoice. For those who have already set up your pre-production my invoice portal or pre-port or testing environment or sandbox, you already set over here. Today, we are going to learn the same things for how to link SQL accounting software to the actual production My Invoice Portal, the real stuff. The first thing that you need to do is you should select your e invoice start date. For example, your sales is more than 500,000 yearly, then your third batch we will start on 1st of July. If your sales is more than 150,000 and less than 500,000 per year, then it's the fourth batch. Okay, so let's select the third one. For example, then over here, what you need to do is you can see that it actually opened up the My Invoice Portal. But you should know by now, My Invoice Portal is the sub portal under My Tax. So that's why you need to log into your My Tax account as the directors of the company. After login as usual, you should go to role selection and change the role from individual to directors of the company. Then click on my invoice. Click on the top right corner profile, switch taxpayer, change taxpayer from individual to your company that you want to set. Click switch. Then click again the profile and view taxpayer profile. Scroll to the bottom and click on ERP. Scroll to the bottom again. If you have a record of the existing ERP for client ID, client secret one and two, you can copy paste over here in SQL accounting software. Or what you need to do is click the three dot button over your existing ERP. Then click regenerate secret and click current secret expiration as immediate and click the new secret expiration maybe put three years and click regenerate after this screen appear what you need to do is click on the client id in sql accounting system and click this icon as copy paste for client id client secret one and also client secret two then click i confirm click done and you can see that all the client secret one and two there is the tick sign, meaning your SQL accounting software already successfully linked to your actual My Invoice Portal account. But do not need to afraid because you already set the e invoice start date. It will not start now. It will still remain at your sandbox because if you test intermediary, it will have all the activated sign. So now you are still in the sandbox and not the actual one. Your actual one will only start on 1st of July as the setting over here. 
So that is the step on how to link your SQL accounting software to your actual My Invoice Portal account. Please join my Facebook forum and also my WhatsApp channel to get the latest information regarding SQL accounting software and my others e-invoice sharing. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.